I'm Johnny Scovel and this is Chase the Heat. Good morning, new start, new week, new year. I'm ready. Hey, I gotta show you what I found, you guys. Check this shirt out. I had, I, man, I made this shirt. It had to have been the first year, maybe the second year of the channel. And I found it. Here's the crazy thing. I found two. Isn't that crazy? This is what the shirt looks like. I'll give you a close up view of it. Isn't that nuts? I can't believe I found that. Anywho, it's kind of a cool thing. Thought I got rid of them all. All right, guys, so listen, here's what I'm doing today. And this is going to be, I'm a little nervous for Orte Ortega. Street taco sauce. I tried the first one. There, I don't even remember what it was. It was just terrible. I'm sorry. It was just bland, lacking flavor, lacking character, lacking any punch at all. I'm really, really hoping this is a better review. I'm trying to give you guys something. Look at this. There's nothing soft about these. You see them on the shelf, I guarantee you, 90% of the people that buy this think it's a squeezable. And you don't grab it in the store and squeeze it. You get it home, there's, you know. There's your thumbnail. Utter disappointment in your container. Here's the other thing. We sell sauce in commercial food grade pouches. Can't smell the pouch, it's made for food. You can't, it doesn't flavor the food. They're commercial food grade pouches. I have to assume this is commercial and food grade, but this is the first time I've ever had a sauce in a plastic container that I could smell the plastic over the sauce. That's not a good thing. Anyhow, this is new for Ortega. It's their street taco sauce. Tinga, jalapeno tomato, jala, uh, chipotle tomato jalapeno. Man, I'm hoping it's better. Listen, I'll leave my hat. If it's good, I'm gonna tell you it's good, but phew, that last stuff was terrible. I was awfully nice about it too. I really, really was. But man, I'm, I'm, if it's great, I'll tell you, but if it's not, Blow up your taco night with Ortega street taco sauces. Authentic street taco flavor in your own home. That's what it was, their authentic street taco sauce. The first one and it wasn't. No work, no effort, no flavor. See what I did there? But all the amazing taste and flavor you'd expect from Ortega, from a taco truck is what it says. And a win-win. I promise you I'll backtrack all of this if the, this one is great, but the first one was so disappointing. And I'm not going into this negative. I'm going into this negative from the last one. I have, I am rooting for Ortega more than you have any idea. I want to say, wow, they blew the doors off of this one. Anyhow. Pairs perfectly with chicken or anything else, really. The first one paired well with my garbage can. Uh, water, tomato paste, onions, apple cider vinegar, roasted garlic, distilled vinegar, salt, green jalapeno peppers, chipotle peppers, brown sugar, oregano, sodium benzoate to preserve freshness, black pepper, and cumin. Great ingredients. Man, I want to like this. I want to say, man, I take back everything I've said. I really do. Now it's such a paste. Do you see how pasty this stuff is? I don't know how it's going to come out of this, but I'm going to use it the way they instruct it. We'll see how this works. I'm going to do the aroma. No aroma. There's no aroma. A little bit when you put your nose in it. And it smells good. The aroma is good. If you try to smell it through the opening of the air, you get nothing. All right, here's the poor people. See, this is the problem. I wanted to do it using their method. This sauce is thick. It looks so much better than the first one. All right, we'll give this a shot. New from Ortega. 
street taco sauce, tinga, chipotle, tomato, jalapeno. I have high hopes, I promise you. I'm Johnny Scoble and this is Chase D. Much, much, much better than the first one. A couple problems remain. Good luck. If you buy this, good luck getting the entire eight ounces out of that. You'll be frustrated. So that's one problem. Hard plastic. It's not sque squeezable. A little bit of smokiness. This is so much better than the first one. First one was garbage. Didn't like it at all. I don't know who would. Ortega. You know it's funny, when I first started the channel, if I made a video and said, Ortega, get your act together. It's sort of comical. But now, someone from Ortega is likely to see this. No bueno. Who are you fooling? That was a bad idea. Bad marketing right there. Um, you know, this is a very thick sauce to get this entire, all the contents of this out of this jar, this jar using that little hole here. I promise you, you're gonna have forearms like Popeye from the workout you get. Um, that said, the flavor is so much better. I threw out the other contain, the other jar of sauce, dumped it. I won't throw this out. I'll eat this probably. Um, you taste the garlic. It's got a nice little smokiness. It's not hot at all, but they don't claim it to be hot. So I'm not going to give them a hard time about that. I just can't stand this plastic, hard plastic bottle. It's ridiculous. I don't care who you are, this is not a squeeze bottle. But all that said, like it sounds like I'm griping a lot. This is such a, so much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to rip it. And here's the thing. I'm glad it's better because if it was not good and I dumped on the sauce, everyone would have thought I was just in a bad mood for Ortega. I don't have it in for anybody. What I have it in for is bad sauce, bad marketing, deceptive marketing. That's what I have it in for. Um, dishonesty is a bad thing. But um, this is so much better than the first one. I mean it. I'm so glad I'm not going to throw this out. It'd be good on eggs. Um, it'd be good on tacos. But boy, that last one. All right, guys, so uh, if you go out and get the Ortega, there's a couple of my sauce. I think the first one was regular off the street taco sauce. Say it, do yourself a favor and avoid that one. You want to get a good taco sauce? Get that one. It's a great taco sauce. All the sauces are back in stock at uh, johnnyscoble.com, by the way. Uh, this is a good one. This is a decent sauce. I don't know what the price is, but for mainstream, this is so much better than the last one. So Ortega, get it together. Come on. I mean, you guys, do you have people that taste your product for you? Do you just throw this together and just put it in a bottle and send it off? Or do people sit in a room and go, hmm, we're getting there. How many times did you make a recipe? You know what I mean? You know, there are certain car designs. They made some cars that were really ugly over the years, like the Gremlins, some really ugly ones. You look at the car and you think to yourself, somebody was in a design room went, that's it, that's the one. Like, what were they thinking? Or certain really bad movies that are so bad, you think they pitched a movie studio and they're like, this is a winner. So I get the same feeling about this. How in the world did, not this one, the other sauce, the other sauce you had. How in the world do you release that? How in the world, maybe it was a bad sauce. I should almost buy it again. Maybe I got a bad one. I just don't see how people in a company where you're not going to, Ortega's huge. You get that, right? They're not selling a couple bottles here and there. They're selling on a mass scale. How are you... Much better. Let me know if you tried this, guys. If you tried the other one, you think I'm way off base, let me know. I didn't mean to rant. You got me, I don't rant very often. Do I? I don't rant very often. We're gonna wrap it up now. I'm not putting a link for Ortega in the description box. It's Ortega. You can find them anywhere, but man, I'll tell you what. The Tinga, that's worth getting. The other one, not so much. Uh, there's the pepper. Click the pepper when you do, you're on the bus your driver. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. Miss none of them. Uh, really? Not true. The only way you're not going to miss them is to come back to the, the channel every day. 
Hit that bell for notifications, select all, they'll do what they can. Right there is Legal Fire, more videos here. I'm Johnny Scoville and this was Chase the Heat.